Today we will introduce how to do SL3100 dosage test. Okay, you can see we got a container here with 1.5 liter waters. And uh, according to the SL3100, 1 to 3000 dosage. Then 1.5 liter water will ask 0.5 mini water SL3100 freezing UV dye. Okay. You see, this is 0.5 milliliter dropper. Add the French UV dye into the water directly. Then steer the system slowly. Ensure the water and the SL300 fully dissolved. Okay. Then we scan the system with thermal UV out lights. You can see the SL300 can be glowing brightly under the skin of UV lights. And meanwhile, with the fluorescent glasses, the fluorescence will be much stronger. Okay, now we are make a small experiment to explain SL3100 for its UV dye super concentration. Okay, you can see we got two container here, and both with 1.5 liter waters. And uh, according to SL3100, 1 to 3000 dosage, 1.5 liter water were asked 0.5 millimeter SL3100 for its UV dye. This is 0.5 millimeter dropper. We add 0.5 millimeter SL3100 frequency dye into the first container. And uh, as a composition, we add 0.2 millimeter to the second container. Okay, this is 0.2 millimeter dropper. Add 0.2 millimeter SL3100 freeze UV dye into the second container. And then steal the system throughout it. And then scan the system with the same model UV flashlight. You can see both containers could be glowing brightly under the UV flashlight.
Okay, now here is the second experiment to show the SL3100 super concentration. Two exactly the same container. One is with 1.5 liter waters, and the other is with 2 liter waters. According to our SL3100 123000 dosage, 1.5 will ask 0.5 mm SL3100 for its UV dye. Okay. Then we add 0.5 mm SL300 into the first container. And this is 0.5 mm dropper. And uh, two liter water were asked 0.7 millimeter SL300 for its UV dye. As a composition, we add the thin 0.5 millimeter SL300 for its UV dye into the second container. You see, still 0.5 millimeter dropper. Okay, then steal the system throughout the Ensure the mix liquid fully dissolved. And then we are scan the system with the same model UV flashlight. You can see the two containers could be glowing brightly under the UV flashlight. This experiment was just to explain the SL3100 super concentration. In the real inspection, please add the SL3100 according to the real dosage.